where are we as a planet when it comes to the fight against malaria? What is kind of the big picture and where are we heading from here? In terms of malaria globally, I think we have seen now the numbers and it's a 50% reduction in the last 10 years compared with 2000. So we're getting there. We have, um, you know, better progress and impact in few regions. Some of the countries in Sub-Saharan Africa are reaching pre-elimination stage. There are regional, regional initiatives which are really good. Mm -hmm. You know, the southern, the southern com countries, South Africa, Namibia, Swaziland, they know the problem. They have been identifying the most lower level detail for their malaria epidemiologies, mm -hmm. and they are just coming up with new approaches how to deal with the challenges, which are, you know, cross-border areas, or what, what do you do with the migration going through the whole economical activities, sure. people coming from one country to another. And they also bring in malaria, because malaria is just crossing it's the portable. border. Yes, it's portable. So you bring malaria from one country to another, and they are trying to find out how they they deal with that. Well, it sounds like you're saying there's some big success stories. You had this 50% reduction, which must mean there's some countries that really have a long way to go, oh, where absolutely. a lot of the prevalence absolutely, is still. Yeah. Uh, give us a sense of so where, where are the big problems where the world needs to well, focus? Well, I would say top one to Nigeria, DRC. Very complex. Huge amount of populations, huge amount of malaria cases and mortality. And we're talking about 170 million people. We're talking about 37 administrative levels. So we have 36 states, one federal, you know, central area, and it's just huge. And you need to be able to stratify to a lower level, which Nigeria means to have all the information systems, collect all this information to stratify that by each state. Mm -hmm. And then from the state, you need to go down to the local government areas, which is another lower municipal level. And then you're going to need to go to the health facility level. So there is a long way to go. Nigeria, they do have a very nice national strategic plan. There was recently reviewed by the, by the national program. It was endorsed by the Minister of Health and the, and the all the stakeholders. But they have a huge financial gap. Mm -hmm. And as expected, you know, when you have all this need and you have a four billion, you know, budget for your malaria strategic, strategic plan, and you don't have all this money, you need to be, you know, trying to find how ma as many as possible the stakeholder that can start filling the gap. So, so is malaria going to become like polio, where the last cases, the last mile, are in the toughest countries where there's conflict, and we just can't actually get to the point of stamping it out? Yes, unfortunately, yes. This is the, the natural history of malaria control and elimination is usually telling us that when you reach a point that malaria is no a public health problem, then the politicians start losing interest. It's not a problem anymore. So the funding is going to be reallocated to prior other priorities. Mm -hmm. And then you don't get the work done, which the work done is basically less trying to achieve elimination. So what should we be looking out for? Just you know, kind of asking you to predict the future a little bit. What are some of the key indicators that you're looking at to see how we're doing uh, on this issue of eliminating malaria? Well, um, we have, you know, I usually tell people that I have, I have a student who asked me one, one conference, say, if you need to invest the money, where do you put the money? And I say, I'll, I will invest the money in the surveillance system. Why? Because this last case might be the case who start disseminating malaria again, and mm -hmm. those cases just coming back. Yeah. So I need to have a strong system who should be able to monitor a number of cases. Mm -hmm. Where are the cases coming from and the number of deaths? I need to have zero deaths and zero autochthonous indigenous cases from the area to be certified malaria free. Are we going to get there in the next 10 years? No. How, no, how, how far be, away are we? There are going to be few countries. There are going to be few countries we are going to reach pre-elimination stage for sure. You know, many of those countries are going to be in Central America. There are going to be few countries in, in the East Mediterranean region for sure. There are few countries in South Sub-Saharan Africa. They are going to be in that position. Okay, they are already in pre-elimination. So we have Swaziland, we have um, um, South Africa. They have very, very few cases mm -hmm. concentrated in so, such a specific. And those areas are male more than 15 years following economical activity in a boarding areas. Mm. So this is the future of malaria control in the preliminary stage. It's not gonna be pregnant women and children, right. you know, like you have usually in a- So we're gonna need uh, to change our approach, be strategic, target. Yes, and, and this is, I think that this is now what people are trying. This is a really financial constrained environment. We don't have the funding and the future is basically telling at the the international aid is not going to be as good as it was before, mm -hmm. so we need to be more strategic, try to invest in priorities, 
for investing in priority have to be evidence-based. And to do that, you need to have information from the local administrative level mm -hmm. who can be able to tell you where the, you know, stratify your, your morbidity, your mortality, and just adapt. This combination of mixed intervention, they need to be an optimal combination. Mm -hmm. that not mm, they don't need to be exactly the same for all the areas, but you need to use this combination approach that work best depending on your communities. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge on this and Pleasure. for all your good work you're doing on malaria. Thank Excellent. you. Thanks.